Uh, my name is Aidan and I'd like to briefly uh, talk about uh, one little story of many things that God's done in my life uh, and something that, you know, I'm just really still thankful uh, and overwhelmed by what God's been doing uh, in through this. Um, so coming out of A-levels uh, from May 2019, um, I was really, really fearful about what I was going to do. You know, throughout sick form, I had all the teachers come out to me. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Everyone was so set on what they wanted to do. Uh, university this, university that, apprenticeship this. Um, I'm going to go work with my uncle, uh, do this thing. Um, me? Nah, didn't really know. Uh, I was <laughs> I was so infatuated in doing, serving and getting involved with uh, the youth ministry in church and other kind of Christian youth organisations. Uh I didn't really think about that. I was just like, ah, God, God will do it, God will do it. Which is both uh, good and a little bit lazy. Um, but that's also part of the, the thing that God was teaching me uh, and really impressing on my heart um, is the, the whole emphasis of trust. And that was really put on in uh, a lot of my, my prayer life and my prayers. Like, literally, I would, God would teach me to uh, say I trust you God at the end of every prayer in this kind of period of time uh, to really emphasize and push the fact that it's not about long prayers it's not about this kind of thing it's the relationship and me going right okay I trust you I give it to you God um, you know I want to be doing stuff I want to be productive I want to be getting out there um, but I had no clue what I was doing I knew <laughs> I was really scared I'd come home most evenings to, to home I'd come to my room and uh, room, <laughs> close the door. I'd probably just cry. I'd sit on my bed just thinking. I'm a deep thinker, if you don't know that. Um, <laughs> very one, very deep one. Uh, and yeah, I'd just cry. I'd just get so scared and worried. Uh, but then this prayer and this this heart to just trust God. Um, so that summer, I was just doing as much as possible, serving God getting involved with church stuff, getting involved with uh, other Christian youth organisation stuff um, and getting out. I was getting up early, about 5, 4 a.m. sometimes, taking my uh, guitar up to uh, the local park and just worshipping while it was freezing cold in the morning. <laughs> um, but no one was out there and it was beautiful. And that's another thing. God was teaching me how to uh, develop my own personal worship. Um but yeah, like uh, one of the things actually um, was that amidst <laughs> me being really scared um, was I would often put some earphones in, um, listen to some music on my phone, worship music, uh, and just in the evenings when it's dark, open my curtains, let the light through uh, of the street lights and stuff, uh, but get down on my knees and just worship and kind of weirdly I'd just face out towards my window. Um, and just pray to him and, and you know, emphasize, I trust him with my life. I trust him with my direction and with my future. I don't care about whether I'm making a load of money, a load of wonga, <laughs> as long as I'm doing something worthwhile and, and lovely and beautiful and trustworthy, um, according to, you know, his kingdom, his cause. Um, now, part of that prayer was that um, he'd give me a gap year um, that would both combine both Christian and um, uh, kind of outdoorsy military elements. Um, and funny enough, uh, after praying, uh, we're praying for that uh, for about mm, two weeks or so, maybe three weeks at most, uh, I was going through Facebook, which by the way, I never go on Facebook, uh, and this perfect gap year popped up. Um, you know, that I'd never heard of, which apparently I only find out now that all my parents and people at church know about uh, Rock UK. And uh, I'm getting outdoors, I'm doing the things that I've always wanted to be, do and learn, really, and, and getting discipled at the same time and developing my relationship with God. Um, and God sent me up there to do loads of different things. And part of the, that thing um, is discipling some of the people up there and the other trainee instructors um, it was just beautiful to uh, you know get to spend time with them 
uh, disciple some of them, uh, evangelize to some of them, you know, and at the same time develop my relationship with God. Uh, and the Father and I are just going further and further into our relationship. And yeah, I'm not going to go over too long, but I've got ugh, so much stuff to that. And it's so thankful to God in that. So uh really want you to be encouraged and uh, yeah, put your trust in God. Seek him earnestly uh, and, you know, but seek first the kingdom of God and, and his righteousness and all these things will be given unto you. You know, food, clothes, water and stuff. And God will give us the desires of his heart as long as our heart is put in line with him. And, you know, if everything just steps so perfectly in line when we're in line with him. And yeah, oh, I get so excited now. 